Now let's talk low latency. Um, you have low latency, ultra low latency, real time streaming, all kinds of different versions with different latencies as part of it. Um, it's getting there in terms of adoption, uh, but it's not mainstream yet. So what are the, the technical objections, business objections currently that are withholding people from really going low latency, ultra low latency all the way? Bill. Well, maybe I can start with just a little bit of a, uh, a story or a detour. I used to work for a guy named Philippe Kahn, uh, an inventor and a serial entrepreneur, uh, very successfully started multiple of his own businesses and sold them. And I had the opportunity to have dinner with him once, and I'd asked him, you know, sort of what, what was it that he did to be uh, you know, serially successful like that? And I'm paraphrasing, but he said, basically looking for the value in what he's, what he's doing, providing value out of his uh, company. And I mention this because I think uh, if you think of real time and uh, lowering latencies as uh, something that has value, right? Uh, where are these value points in uh, the market? Is there value in uh, being able to interact with one another uh, in real time? Uh, I mean, during COVID, I think we've all uh, found that it is uh, valuable to be able to interact with your colleagues and people across the globe. Is there value in an interactive experience around content, around sports, around uh, live events, news? Uh, I think there is. And I think what we're seeing is as we produce these different technologies with different uh, latency points, whether it's you know, the, the current, say, 30 seconds-ish, or 10 seconds, or five seconds, down to real time of you know, sub-half second, where do you unlock different experiences that provide value? And I think what we're seeing today you know, at Phoenix uh, we're delivering uh, video for things like uh, auctions that require real time. We're delivering uh, a video for uh, sports and sports gambling, uh, like horse racing, enabling people to interact through gambling and gamification that adds additional value on top of just sitting back and watching the content. So uh, I think we are seeing some high profile events. Um, we did uh, with uh, Verizon, the multi-view application for the Super Bowl this last year. Uh, their in-stadium experience. You're starting to see high-profile events. You know, are you seeing uh, greater than, say, 50% of the traffic for live being delivered over real time? Not yet, but you're starting to find where in the market the value is, is most, right? There's the most value in the areas that are being adopted right now, and they're starting to become high-profile events with high scale. And I think we'll start to see you know, more people adopt as these use cases become obvious. Good. Irwin, what's your take on this? Yeah, I basically see the same thing happening. I think interaction is going to be the driver of low latency video streaming. The question is how low in, do you need to go? But uh, uh, the thing is that interactive live streams um, are not there yet. You, you see them, but you, you lack the interactive capabilities on top of the live streams that, that, that enrich the video. I think that uh, in the near future, you see more and more sports events um, or conferences or other live events where interactive is a key element of, uh, of, of the, the viewing experience. And when that happens, I think that low, late, uh, low latency video is going to be a must. And that is the moment that where, uh, where I see the global adoption of, uh, of low latency video. The question is how low? Well, no, zero, real time. <laughs> Okay. But that comes with a challenge, because yeah, if you go uh, to, to uh, sub-second uh, sub latency, then uh, what you already mentioned, uh, uh, you need some uh, latency in your buffer, or that is our experience, where you want to uh, accommodate for a lost mile. So if there is packet loss, or if uh, the whole family is streaming Netflix at home while somebody else is watching a live stream, you need to accommodate for that. And that is where we see that a, sw a sweet spot around uh, low latency with interactivity. And then especially interactivity that is um, uh, structured uh, is between three and five seconds. And that is where we are aiming for. Uh, 